Well, great morning. It is December 17th, Thursday. Let's pick three cards and see what we get the topic of the morning before I have to leave to go to El Paso to see the doctor. white light and bloom bloom okay so yesterday we had the one on um, more about opening psychic awareness you know calming quieting you know, and allowing things to come in. So today we have just, it seems to be a little extension on that. Um, you know, that the spirit, spirit is always ready to give you these gifts. Um, they're, they're always here. We just have to open ourselves up to them. You know, um, we have to plant the seeds. With anything, you plant the seeds and then you nourish it, you continue to, to work with things so that you have it where it can bloom. In the correct time, it's going to bloom, okay? Um, pushing things is not good. And always remember to stay in the light, the white light. Um, you know, one thing that uh, I can say when you're working with energies and things and, you know, for a time I was doing, I guess you can say counseling for those that are um, disembodied, that are on the other side, that maybe got a little stuck and they wanted to, you know, I would work with introducing them to others mainly on the other side, although there were a few Himalayan masters that sometimes would hook them up with um, to be continued to do their journey. And yes, you can continue to, to learn and do your journey on the other side as well. Um, but mainly this was working with people that were kind of stuck, you know, in, in their journey and they needed to have something to help break through uh, some things that were keeping them stuck. But anyway, the, the reason I'm bringing this up was to say when working with things, every once in a while you would have something of this dark, you know, a masquerading dark angel trying to sneak in. And uh, what I found that works with them, if you were uh, channeling or doing something like that and you have stuff coming in and you are connecting with the other side. Um, the thing that I found that works is that the um, negative energies, they may try to pass off as being of the light um, to disrupt things, to put in fake information, to put in some shadow things. Um, so what I found is they will not bow to the light of truth. They absolutely, these negative dark energies will not bow to the light of truth, okay? So that's the thing you, you, you know, um, because they'll say, oh yes, no, I'm here for, for good purposes. Then do you bow to the light of truth? They won't do it. They won't do it, okay? So that's uh, a thing that I found works. Um, when you are working, do you bow to the light of truth? And they will not surrender to a light of truth. So that's how I use um, 
white light rather than uh, surrounding myself with a, you know, with a light and things. We're already, we're already energetic beings. And if we are of the light, we're going to be projecting light. Okay. Um, so when they come, this is the challenge, you know, uh, we bow to the light of truth. Yes, I know, Mr. Max. You giving kisses? <laughs> yes, we're going to go in just a second. Just a sec. Okay, Mr. Max. Okay, just a minute. We're going to go. Mama going to take you out before I go. Mama, take you on your walk before we go. We are. We are. <laughs> you got me right in the mouth. <laughs> okay, you come sit over here with me for a minute, okay? <laughs> Oh, mercy. He says, it's that time of day. I want to, it's still chilly, but I'm going to take you out because I have to leave a little early today. So anyway, yeah, you can challenge him um, to bow to the light of truth. And that they will not do. Okay. Um, so you just continue to hold out, you know, to your guides on the other side, those that are working with you. Um, you know, friends, family, masters, uh, whoever's on the other side working with you. And everyone does have somebody over there um, to aid them in their journey here. You know, say, you know, I want those highest gifts, you know, please, you know, please open. Now, I don't suggest that you demand it be opened in a certain way. You know, we never know what gifts are going to come. Just like doing the work with those um, with those that were out of body on the other side. I never asked for that. <laughs> Trust me, it was a surprise when that one came. Um, you can find that on my other channel um, if you're interested in that segment. I was working with... Um, Siddhananda on there and we were counseling those from the other side and those are kind of fun and interesting to do so if you're interested look up Guru Swami G uh, channel and you can find those there um, and I think they're more listed under working with the other side okay um, you can look those up and see um, we had some real interesting characters come through. <laughs> we have one that's on the other side, and he's a, um, was a, like a Naga Baba, and they call him Big Baba Light. <laughs> Big Baba Light. And we had um, some sadhu that passed and, and just thought he was, you know, hot stuff until Big Baba Light got a hold of him. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, yeah, no, it, it, it's interesting because we had people from um, time from being in Chichen Itza, ones that were human sacrifice and those were, were doing the human sacrifices from Chichen Itza all the way to, you know, I mean, all around the world, we had ones coming in. So anyway, it was a very interesting segment of time. Um, I think it must have worked with at least 75, 75 to 100 from the other side. And then when it was done, it was done. Um, and moved on, you know, and haven't had anything else like that coming through since. But that was, uh, yeah, that was an interesting segment. We started doing the work when I was still in Mexico. At the time, I was down there and I wanted to visit Chichen Itza. Um, yeah, and just uh, this is something that opened up. I had bought a bunch of stones I was bringing back. And all of these <laughs> beings that wanted to be worked with jumped into these stones and clung to these stones. And I would hold it and I would feel this energy and recognized, oh, my goodness. So um, I'll see if I can find one of those and I'll put the link in, in the description if you wanted to see 
um, how that was working, um, working with those from the other side that were, you know, um, had left the form. Now I did work with a few that were in body here, uh, Himalayan master that was still up in the Himalayas, still alive. Um, but most of the ones uh, I would work with were usually on the other side as well. So anyway, um, I'll put that up. But we all have different gifts <clears throat> that are coming and going. <clears throat> You might find some things open for a while and then you move on to something else. You know, you never know what the universe is going to have. If you say, you know, whatever work the universe has for me to do that I can participate in, um, you know, I'm willing to do that. Okay. And uh, then get ready to, to see what they bring. Okay. Um, but again, always make sure you're dealing with the light. Um, because you can have disembodied entities, dark angels, you know, dark light um, beings attempting to come in and um, put out false information. Um, so make sure you check to, that they bow to the light of truth. Um, uh, when I was working with those, I would work with a pendulum a lot. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll see that on those videos. Again, you know, don't be surprised at what comes, what blooms. Again, if you want something to bloom, you have to plant a seed. And then you have to continue to, uh, you know, pull out the weeds when they're growing. Get rid of whatever's there that's going to stifle things. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. Hopefully this has helped someone along in their journey. Isn't that right, Mr. Max? There we go. Oh, you're just a love bug. You are. You're a love bug. So I'm going to leave this here for now and take Mr. Max out for his walk and uh, then get ready to, to uh, head up to the doctors today. And they're going to tell me all about the joys of gamma knife surgery. Um, and if we're going to do it, if we're not, what, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I did find out, though, that there are some complications that can happen. You can lose your hair <laughs> because it's radiation. Uh, you could have swelling of the brain, which could be difficult if they don't get everything exact. Uh, you could have to go on some steroid if they damage tissue around that area. Um, what else was it? There were a few. Oh, you can lose your hearing even with that one. Okay. Um, so that's possible. Okay. Um, now, the first doctor I talked to, you know, they made it seem like it will preserve your hearing. But no, I did more research on it. And you can, you can have that... Um, even with the gamma knife, you can lose your hearing on that side totally. So there are some um, things that can happen. So you just, you know, you need to be aware of that and, uh, you know, balance everything out. So on that note, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to get ready and take off for the day. And I'll let you know what happens when I get back with the doctor. We'll see what she has to say. Anyway, I've got some um, new cards are coming. I have a few decks that are on their way. And uh, I've got a new book, Wavoka. Um, he's the one that was... Uh, doing the ghost dance, the ghost dance, Waboka and the ghost dance. And then I have another one coming that was on the ghost dance and um, different uh, people in the tribes, um, what they thought of it. There was a lot of controversy about it. Um, 
So I guess, you know, I'm looking forward to getting that one and seeing what um, the various Native Americans were thinking about it. You know, some were for it, and I guess some were uh, not so thrilled with it, hearing about that. So I'm, I'm interested to get that book in as well and read it. So that will be fun. Anyway, on that note, I'm closing this out. Have a great day. I'll see you online.